evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to tonight's February 12, 2020, Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Boys Varsity Bay State Conference Cricket Division Hockey between the Milton High Wildcats and your Walpole High Rebels from the Rodman Arena in Walpole. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. Joining me both on the microphone and behind the camera is my friend and compatriot, Mike Dussault. We'll be providing all the play-by-play -play action for this non-league game. With a 6-7-5 and five mark, the Rebels will be looking to snap a three-game losing streak, which came after having tied three of their previous four games. Walpole topped the Wildcats 4-1 back on January 18th. With just four games to go in the regular season, it's time to fish or cut bait for the Walpole Rebels. They've got to find a way to start winning again. The Rebs need five points in these final four games to qualify for postseason play for the fifth consecutive year. The orange and blue is runner-up in the Herget of the Bay State Conference at 4-3 and 5. Is 2-4 and 2 at home, but has been outscored 53 to 43. Coming into tonight's game, Milton has won four of their last five games. Milton is in third place in the Hergit at 5-5 and 2, 6-8 and 3. With a 4-2 and 3 road record, the red and white has been outscored 53-45. So scoring-wise, the two teams are nearly identical, both in goals for and goals against. Uh, going back over the last five years, Walpole is 5-2-3 and three against Milton. The Wildcats have victories over Quincy, 4-0, Newton North, 6-0, Wellesley, 4-0, Needham, 2-1, and Brookline, 5-4, and Weymouth, 3-0 in their last two games. Milton has battled to ties with Braintree, 3-3, three three, Natick, 2-2, two two, and Norwood, also 2-2. Two we are getting ready to have the starting lineups announced here. As uh, this is game one of a boy-girl doubleheader. The uh, Lady Rebels will take on the Lady Wildcats following this game. And uh, that should be another, as the girls also need to uh, pick up about four points in their last three games, I think it is, for them to qualify for postseason play. So there's a lot on the line tonight uh, for, the, for both, the, both Rebel teams. So like we said earlier, there's a lot on the line the rest of the way here for Walpole High as they're looking to continue their postseason play. For the boys, it's been four straight years. For the girls, it's been eight of the last ten. And we are ready for our opening face-off. Okay. Frucci digs the puck out, sends it down into the Milton end. Gets it passed out and picked up by Bobby Carew. But Walpole is able to dump it back in with uh, Liam Fisher doing the honors. Back behind the net for checking. It's coming up along the boards. Passed over. 22. Can't quite do it. Uh, all right. There's a shot cleared up into the netting by Curran. First the shot was up a high shot, and he cleared it, but it was a little too high and went up into the netting. So there'll be a face-off. Two Curran's left. <clears throat> Great crowd, especially for the brigade. Down to our right here. As uh, Walpole High gets ready for one more day of uh, school before the February vacation takes place. All right, uh, Matt Donnelly dumps it into the uh, Milton zone. Digging it out for Walpole. Oh, was uh, Declan Hunter, and he fanned on his shot. He had the goalie dead to rights and uh, just uh, lost uh, control of it as he went to wrist it in. 
So there'll be a face-off to Ryan Dexter's right. Okay, the face-off won by McGlynn for the Rebels. Milton dumps it into the far corner down there. It's picked up down there by Mark Hersham. Mark uh, loses it, comes out front. And it's cleared up to the, come back up to the point. Hersham with it. Shot score in the slot. Uh, Milton on a turnover, the puck came right out front. And uh, Milton was able to pounce on, it was number 13, Jimmy Fallon for Milton, who scores to put these Wildcats in front. One to nothing. And that comes at a minute and 26 seconds of the game. Not the way Walpole wanted to begin. Not the way at all. All right, Walpole clears it back into the corner. Chasing it down over there is uh, Walpole. Uh, okay, Fisher sends it behind the net. Picked out in front, shot at the side. Uh, Cleared away. All right. McElhaney tosses it over. It's picked up now by Frucci. Frucci clears it in front. He was looking for uh, Tim Donahue, it looks like. I might be wrong on that. No, it's Ethan. I'm sorry, Ethan McDonough. A shot, oh. save. Walpole gets it. Fisher with it. Throws it in oh. front. He was looking for McDonough for a tip, and, and the puck bounced over his stick. Puck goes out of the playing area, and there will be a faceoff. <clears throat> uh, coming up here in front of. Uh, they were able to get it back away. So it'll be to the left of. Dexter in the Milton net. Milton wins the draw. Goes behind to Luke Calcagano. Thrown in by Matt Donnelly. Picked up along the boards. Battle there. Comes out to Sunrise. Still there. Battling is Joe Cox for Walpole. And it comes up ahead to uh, John Walsh from Milton. He throws it in, and this will be icing. Faceoff will come back to the left of uh, Dexter in the Milton net. Don Lee taking the draw for Walpole. I take that back. It was uh, McGlynn on the draw. Up along the boards, digging it out, sending it back is uh, Jason Finkelstein. It's cleared. Puck can't get out. Say it along the boards. Milton keeping it in. Uh, Curran sticks it behind the net. Sent up, sent it away. <clears throat> it's Finkelstein with it. He throws it into the opposite corner where it's picked up by McElhaney. Oh, he had Finkelstein in front, couldn't connect with him. Here's a pass in front to Colin Birch. <coughs> His shot just wide, goes through the crease. Another shot up off the glass. Comes out front. Milton is able to clear it down. This will be icing. And we'll come back to the right of Dexter in the Milton net. So Milton scored just a uh, minute 26 into the game with Jimmy Fallon scoring from Owen Letty and uh, Ronan Robinson. Uh, 
Hersham throws it over to uh, Blakely. Will sends it around the boards back to uh, Hersham. Hersham gets it over to uh, McElhaney. Kevin throws a self pass into the skate, goes into the corner. Milton chasing it down as Hersham. Uh, he can't quite get it, but coming over to help out is McElhaney, and Milton's able to skate out with it. And Blakely cuts off his angle, goes behind the net. Milton digs it out, tries a pass off the back of the net, goes over to uh, the corner. All right. And Walpole clears it in, skates out. Tommy Frucci down there. A nice hit he makes, but he can't come up with the puck. Bringing it down is Jack Boylan. And that's cleared into the corner by uh, Walpole, by Milton. Jack Walsh has a little trouble in the corner there. Coming back over. Walpole having trouble getting the puck out of their zone here. And Milton content to dump it back in again, chasing it down. There's a slow roller in on Dexter. He smothers it, holds on to it. The faceoff will be to his left. We've got 9.03 left in the first period. Milton on top, one to nothing. On a goal by uh, Jimmy Fallon. <clears throat> Walpole wins the draw. Coming up, cleared ahead, kept down. Chasing it down over there is uh, Ben Quinn. And they're saying it was a hand pass by Milton. It will come back out. The faceoff will be at the, in front of the Walpole net. Uh, for a goal, a bench. All right. Hersham bringing it down the left side. He dumps it in, battling it's McElhaney. Milton is able to come out with it. It's clear down. Here comes uh, John Walsh with it. His shot save. Loose puck. Can't get it. Battling away. Curran's on his uh, all on his legs. He looks like he could be hurt. He's having a little trouble getting up there. And now he does. Uh, it'll be icing on Walpole. Uh, on that pile up there, Curran looked like he might have been shaken up a little bit. But he looks all right. Frucci, the backup. I mean, uh, Frucci skates off the ice. Okay, Milton wins the draw. Shot behind the net. It's thrown out in front where it's intercepted by uh, Declan Hunter. Hunter sends away uh, Charlie Wally. Wally going into the corner. Hunter is able to pry it loose, but it goes behind the net. Finch. Oh, here's a breakout here for uh, Jack Boylan. He clears the puck behind the net by Curran. Off along the boards. Shot in front. Curran was able to clear it against the boards. Battling there for it is Hunter. He gets it back. Over to, oh, it's stolen by Milton. He took the, picked Liam Fisher's pocket there.
Milton with it. Look at coming out to the left point. It gets past. Here's a breakout for Hunter. Declan coming down, looking for somebody. Sends it ahead. He's got. Uh, oh! Uh, left pad save off of uh, Birch. Comes in front. It's cleared out. Walpole's able to get it. It's cleared over to Hershaw. Mock sends it into the Milton zone behind the net. There to get it is uh, Luke Calcano for uh, Milton. And the puck goes up into the netting. The faceoff will be to the right of the Milton goal. Yep. Great play there by uh, Declan Hunter, huh, Rick? That was a little Gretzky turn there, pulled yep. up and, and laid that pass right out there. It's, uh, they've had some good chances, Walpole, right. here. Yep. Just got to finish one, you know? Yeah. All right, it's uh, McGlynn in front of shot goes behind the net. Battling there is McGlynn. Puck comes out to center ice where it's picked up by Fisher. Liam sends it across ice into the center where it's dumped into the Milton zone. Walpole getting fresh legs out there. Picking it up here is Jack Vaughn and his shot is held on to by Curran for a face off to his left 553 left in the first period Milton still on top one to nothing <laughs> Milton won the uh, draw but Walpole came up with it Ethan McDonough had it he skates it in behind the net Looking for somebody. Sends it back over to Frucci. Frucci looking, but it comes out to the neutral zone. And it's cleared back in by McElhaney. McElhaney and uh, McDonough move it in for some four checking. Comes out to center ice and into the Walpole zone. Mark Hersham checks it out. He backhands it in. Not far enough. Milton comes out with it. <coughs> Curran looking to see where to drop it off to. Sends it around the board. Gets past McDonough. Uh, McElhaney there looking to dig it out. Working away. It's taken out by M Milton. That was uh, Bobby Carew that dug it out for the Wildcats. Still battling. He's battling with Hershom. Helping out is McElhaney. Rob Ricciotti with it. He sends it back over. Comes back down to John Walsh. Walsh sends it off the back of the net. Another one at the side of the net by Walsh. No one there. All right. Okay, Frucci with it. A shot just cleared up over the top of the, the crossbar. All right, Milton bringing it down. Matt Donnelly, oh, Liam Fisher with it. Here's Hunter, oh, Hunter's shot is cleared up over the top of the net by Dexter. Hunter digs it back out, throws it in front. Another at the side of the net, it comes out. Fisher, he has a shot, takes it. It's blocked in front and Milton was able to clear it. Chasing it down is uh, Andrew McDonald for the Wildcats. And his goes shot, goes into the netting. And it'll be a face off down to Curran's left. 3.35 left in the first period. Milton still on top, one to nothing. On a goal just 84 seconds into the game. Comes back to the right point where uh, Colin Hoey, his shot is blocked. Okay, Walpole comes up with it. Hunter clears it in. Walpole skates back. Hunter goes in to forecheck. Goes into the far side. And 
Milton comes out with the puck. Cleared over. Jack Boylan had uh, his shot blocked. Here's uh, Hoey again with it. And it picked it off by uh, Ben Quinn. Quinn dumps it in behind the net. Comes up along the boards. It's kept in at the right point. To score! From the right point, unassisted it. Went five hole on him and he just uh, wasn't able to stop it. Great shot, somehow it snuck through there. 12-21 the time of this goal. And it was uh, Colin Birch with the goal for Walpole. Well, you had to figure Walpole's gonna get one finally. Lots of chances, you know, yeah. finally got one through. Right. I know it's been a struggle, but it's a big one. All right, Walpole draws even here late in the first period. Here's uh, McDonough going in. He gets a... There's a shot, a save by Curran. Puck goes up along the boards to McDonough. He can't clear it out. Goes in behind the net again. Digging it out for um, Milton is in, Aiden Long. He sends it out to the neutral zone where it's gathered by Luke Calcagano. Walpole clears it in behind the net. Red and white bringing the puck down the ice there. That was uh, John Carey. Okay, Carey gets it out to uh, Owen Radley. Here's a shot long by uh, Bobby Carew that was saved by Curran. He gets the Walpole's able to get it down there. Digging it out. Walpole's got it. A shot, save, rebound. Oh, just wide of the net. Comes a digging over there is uh, Matt Donnelly. And there will be a face-off down to the right of Dexter in the Wildcat net. And we are tied here one to one in the first period, a minute 22 left. A crucial game for the Rebels if their tournament hopes to keep them alive. Puck cleared the length of the ice. Throwing it around is Joe Baderber. And this will go the length of the ice. And this will be icing with 102 left in this first period. So an unassisted goal by Colin Birch ties the score for Walpole. One to one here in the first period. McElhaney on the draw with uh, Johnny Lesser of Milton. McElhaney goes up, Milton gets it. Frucci throws it in. <clears throat> uh, comes out to the neutral zone. And it's cleared in by Walsh of Milton. Comes back out. Uh, Hoey gets it. Back to uh, Carew who throws it in behind the net. Walsh is over there, he's looking for somebody out front. But there's nobody there. Walpole battling away, it comes again to go right in front, a backhand shot. M Milton controlling here. Uh, Ronan Robinson throws it in, rebound, hits the post. Oh, a, a blind backhanded shot by, uh, by a Milton player here. I'll give you his number in a minute. 24, Owen Letty uh, just hit the post to the far side with 20 seconds left to go in the uh, period. <clears throat> Milton wins the draw, there's a shot blocked in front. It's uh, Boylan with it. Walpole comes out, 12 seconds to go. Declan with it, Hunter shot. Oh, a deflection in front by number 14, uh, Matt Donnelly who was right on the doorway. A little pushing and shoving going on there. 
seemed like Walpole thought it went in. The uh, Wildcats and the Rebels with a few words to say to each other with 5.3 seconds to go. <coughs> Donnelly almost gave uh, put Walpole ahead there. And the puck now coming out uh, beyond the blue line in front of the Walpole Media Corporation broadcasting crew. The neutral puck and uh, Milton will kill off this first pe in period. And the buzzer sounds. We are deadlocked at one after 15 minutes of play. <clears throat> Jimmy Fallon put Milton on top a minute 26 into the game with Owen Letty and uh, Ronan Robinson picking up assists. Colin Birch tied it up for Walpole. Uh, one, an unassisted goal at 12-21. Mike. Yeah, I mean, some great chances by Walpole. You know, I thought uh, I thought Declan Hunter was all over the place, making right. great passes. I mean, and they seem to think that last one went in, but Milton buried that one chance that they had. That was really the only, I mean, they had some pressure, but that was the only great A opportunity. And, right. you know, it's funny for Walpole. They missed some great A chances, but then you just throw yeah. one at the net from the point. Somehow it finds its way through. So yeah. uh, that's a big boost. I mean, we saw them just this right. past weekend, you know, have some struggles scoring against Bridgewater yeah. Arena. So I'm sure <coughs> that feels good. We got a, zero, you know, 1-1 one, one game now, and, uh, Hopefully they can keep that pressure up because they should get some goals. Right. You know? yep. So will the uh, teams are going in. They're going to make a new sheet of ice. We'll be back shortly with second period action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to second period action here from the Rodman Arena in Walpole where your Walpole Rebels are tied one-to-one -one with the Milton Wildcats in a very key uh, game as far as uh, tournament Hopes go for the Rebels. This is a Bay State Conference Hergit Division game. Okay, the puck comes over to uh, Walsh of Milton. He throws it in behind the net. Stolen. Ethan McDonough bringing it down. He's got McElaine. The shot saved by Dexter. He's knocked over by that shot. The puck came just beyond uh, the reach of McElhaney. That's uh, Walsh with it for Bilton. Sends it up along the boards. Back to Walsh. He's looking. Oh, great Brilliant save, save by uh, uh, Curran robbing, absolutely robbing Bobby Carew, who was set up by Walsh. Walsh behind the net, threw it in front. To Carew was there skating uh, right to left, and uh, his shot went right into the pads of Curran. It happened to be at the right place at the right time. Faceoff will be to Jack's right. It's won by Walpole. Goes in behind the battling along the boards. And it's dug out and thrown around by Joe Baderber. It goes up and hits a player on the Milton bench who is leaning over, so the face-off will be in front of the Wildcat bench. That goes in, uh, Joe Cox took that uh, face-off of Walpole. Okay, coming down on the right side for Milton. Trying to get back, he threw it in front to uh, Fallon, Fallon couldn't uh, convert it. That's uh, Boylan, Jack Boylan helping out for Milton. All right, Viderber throws it around the boards. Comes up, kept in at the right point by Milton. There's a shot, dead on shot, saved by off of uh, Boylan by Curran. Comes up to the left point, battling along there. Comes out to center ice, Declan Hunter chasing down for it. Goes in along the boards here, where the brigade is on the side of the team where the brigade is. It's cleared out. Here comes uh, Fallon. Fallon has the goal for Milton. He gets it back, short in front. It's loose and it's pounced on in hell by Curran. With 13.04 left in the second period. <clears throat> 
tied up still one to one. Now good defensive coverage by Walpole there. A couple players, guys back checking, picking right. guys up. It's important. Okay, the faceoff one back to uh, Andrew McDonald of Milton. He throws it in the corner to Johnny Lesser. Lesser being bothered there by the defense. Here's a steal. Here comes, <coughs> here comes uh, Ryan McGlynn. Gets it around behind the boards on up to Hunter. It's blocked in front. Here he comes. Shot. Oh, off the back on the side of the net. Birch throws it over to the side. Nobody there for Walpole. Birch gets it back. Sends it up to center rice. It's picked up there by McDonald of the Wildcats. He sends it over to uh, Johnny Lesser. And Milton clears it in. Goes up, this will be icing. And it will come back to the right of Curran in the Walpole net. Faceoff is won by Walpole over to Hersham. Hersham is able to get it out to center ice. Here comes Frucci's shot is saved. Rebound by Frucci, save again. And behind the net, there was nobody there to help out. All right, comes out. Drop down by Verderber. Here's a break for uh, Carew of Milton. Clear it out. And uh, Robinson snags it for Milton. It's thrown into the corner where Joe Verderber is there. Well, he gets it right too. Oh, almost a beautiful setup for Carew by Walsh, but it went under his stick. And it's thrown in, Walpole digging it down. Puck coming up is kept in at the left point by Walsh. Long shot, clear open shot to Curran. He holds on to it for the faceoff with 10.50. The clock is running here, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, a good 10 seconds ran off there with uh, the clock running. Goes up along the boards, Milton keeping it in. Helping out is Boylan for the Wildcats. He gets it up to Calcano. And digging it out for Walpole is Liam Fisher. Fisher gets it, throws it in front. Save on a redirect by Matt Donnelly. Down in the corner, battling away. Comes up to the point, Birch's shot is safe. Rebound by Hunter, another save. Battling in the front. And we're gonna have a first penalty of the game. It'll be on Walpole. There's a shot and a save by Curran, but Walpole will be sending a man a tripping call on Mark Hersham. Yeah, tough call. I mean, Milton buzzing right now, kind of carrying the play here early in the second period, but yeah, that's kind of a haphazard stick. It's caught up, you know. But Ducklin Hunter's having a great game. He's got to be killing himself. He should have three goals already. Time of the penalty, five minutes, 11 seconds of the second period. The shot cleared up over the top of the net. It's dug out by uh, Fallon for Milton, he gets the Walsh back to Fallon. Shot through his screen is wide. Uh, that'll be cleared the length of the ice. Joe Cox, 
Joe Cox was the, got that penalty, not Mark Hershaw. Okay, it was an errant pass by Carew. All right, comes back over to Fallon. Fallon coming down on the left. Breaks through, has got the shot saved by Curran and he clears it into the corner. Shot saved, rebound, shot saved, and cleared nicely. Good defense by the Rebels and uh, by uh, Jack Curran in the net. So it goes down along the boards. Hershaw there, it's in his skates. All right, now Fisher, Fisher can't clear it out. It's picked up by uh, John Carey. Now over to uh, Shea Donovan, a shot blocked and saved. Hershaw gets it, can't clear it out. Walpole along the boards, goes over off the left boards. And Walpole's able to clear it out to center ice. 23 seconds left on the power play for Milton. Owen Letty with it, he gets it ahead to Jack Boylan. And Walpole's able to dig it out. It's uh, Tommy Frucci coming now with it. His shot is cleared, right pad saved by Dexter. And bringing it out the length of the ice here. Oh, he loses his balance, that was uh, Robinson. It's cleared in, the wall pulls back at full strength again. They were able to kill off that penalty. And that will be ice, no icing. Uh, yes, it is. One, one official said yes, the other one said no, and it's none. Yeah, it looked like a hit so off the Walpole known player. Walpole throws it around behind the net. Okay, it's uh, Luke Ocano with a long shot by uh, Shea Donovan. For Milton Walpole, a steal here by Fisher, Liam going in, end to end, loses control, McDonough gets it, throws it in front, it's intercepted by Milton. It's D Robinson bringing it down, coming down the left side. No, I'm sorry, that was Ben Thermidor Payne with it, uh, not Robinson. As it's cleared in, tracking it down to Robinson for Milton. Coming out, Walpole gets him a shot through his screen, is saved by Dexter. Thrown in front oh. and another save. Popped up into the mitt of uh, Dexter. He's able to hold on to it and get a face off with 6.35 left in the second period. Nice little flurry there, a little sustained pressure. It seems like a few too many one and dones for Walpole this period. They kind of come down, right. take a shot, and then it's going the other way. So that was a nice little cycle there. They got a few shots out of it. So more of that should be good. All right, face off one by Walpole, but Milton comes away with it over to uh, Walsh. Walsh dumps it into the Walpole zone, comes back out to the center ice, where it's picked up by Robinson. Robinson throws it to center ice, Walpole gets it. It's uh, Hersham dumping it in behind the Milton net. Bumped off the wall. Walpole's able to clear it in. That was uh, Ryan McGlynn there. Ryan can't get a Federber at the point, and Milton's able to hold on to and get it through. It's uh, Finn Doherty, and his shot goes up, deflected high into the netting, and we will have a face-off to the left of Jack Curran. No, it'll be to his right. Puck kept in. No, it wasn't. It was offsides. Delayed offsides. Walpole uh, is able to get it. Boylan comes back in. Almost. And it circles back in. Big collision between uh, two uh, rebels there. One of whom was Liam Fisher. I didn't catch the other one. Shot in front. Ooh. Oh, a little, a little pop shot there by. Uh, Fallon as he didn't get enough uh, wood on it and it kind of popped up in the air right into the glove of Curran for the save and the face off. Yeah Rick, Jimmy Fallon's no joke out there, making some plays. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing around, he's pretty good.
Face off. It's icing here as uh, like the shot bounced in on uh, Curran. He was able to drop it down, but there, with uh, some Wildcats coasting in to jump on that rebound, uh, Rebels cleared at the length of the ice to take some of the pressure off. Once again, the faceoff will be to Curran's right. Locked in front on a shot by Joe Pender. He's bringing it down. Yeah. Uh, Fucci uh, pass was behind Joe, and he is a uh, uh, Tommy, and he wasn't able to stay on sides to get it. So it will be a faceoff outside the blue line in front of the Walpole bench. We're still deadlocked at one to one here. 509 left in the second period. There's a steal there and a dumping by uh, Ryan McGlynn. Playing around Hershaw there for Walpole. Gets it out. Oh, that was outside. That stayed in. Walpole is able to clear it into the corner. It's taken there by Doherty for the Wildcats. Behind the Walpole net, coming into the near corner. And Hershaw banks it out. <coughs> it's gloved down by, I think it was by uh, Ben Quinn. One of the Rebels is a little slow getting up in the far corner. We'll skate it off. All right. Well, Waffle, a little flat this period. I think it was Colin Birch, but I'm not sure. No, it's not. Colin's out there now, so I don't know who it was. <coughs> he was a little shaken up on that hit in the corner. All right, Milton with the puck. Thrown around by Calcano. Uh, bringing it down is uh, Tyler McNeil. Okay, Declan Hunter dumps it into the, the corner, chasing it down. Comes along the boards, Milton gets it. Not, not out though. So battling there is uh, Matt Donnelly, one of Walpole's captains. Walpole's able to keep it in throw behind the net. Declan Hunter's there, nobody in front. He tried to center it out front there, nobody there to get it. <coughs> Walpole was in a line change. All right, coming down the sides. And Fisher gets it, banks it off the glass. Coming out, it's picked up at center ice by Johnny Lesser of Milton. There's a... Uh, Shot, and it goes up into the netting. On a save by Dexter. Now some signs of life a little bit. Walpole, not, not their best period. I mean, seems like Milton's kind of carried the play here. But little signs of life, a couple shots here. They're starting yeah. to find their game a little bit. 3.09 left in the second period. We're still deadlocked at one. Faceoff comes out, jumped in by... Milton chasing it down is uh, Jimmy Fallon. He doesn't get there. Walpole gets there first, dumps it out to the neutral zone, now into the offensive zone. And circling around, bringing it out is Calgar. It is, uh, no, I'm sorry, that was Ro Robinson. Puck goes high in the air in the corner. Down there is Ben Quinn laying a hit on uh, the player. Uh, Hershaw with it. Box uh, shot over the top of the crossbar. And here comes coming all the way back for uh, Milton is Colin Hoey. 
dumped out to center ice. It's picked up there by Fallon. Two minutes left in the second period. Still tied one to one. Puck battling along the side. Joe Viderba will chase this down for Walpole. He gets it up under the stick of uh, Ethan McDonough. It will be icing and the faceoff will come back to the right of uh, Jack Curran in your Rebel net. Tossed out of the circle for Milton. Doherty comes in to take the draw. Nice move here by. That was by uh, Frucci. Puck comes free. There we go. That's Frucci with it again. Joey drops it back. Shot by uh, Worley. That was saved. Uh, drawing a lot of attention in front of the net is uh, Matt Donnelly with four uh, Wildcats uh, welcoming him to the Rodman Arena tonight. One minute, 15 seconds left in this second period. All right, the face-off to Dexter's left. Face-off goes back. Down around. Milton coming out with it. It's uh, Jack Boylan. No, it's not. It's uh, Jimmy Fallon. And his Ethan McDonough coming down for Wapple. Shot goes high off the boards. Coming out to the point, Milton looking for uh, uh, Boylan. They can't find him. 43 seconds oh, left. Oh, missed the puck. Was over. what a save! Oh. A brilliant save. Diving by uh, Curran, going to his left on a two-on-none break. Here's a shot to clear the length of the ice. Comes down to center ice. Walpole gets it. Birch throws it in behind the net. 21 seconds still uh, comes outside the zone. There comes in a shot from uh, center ice that Dexter had to handle. We've got 10 seconds left in the second period. Comes out. Shot and before they can get the shot off, the horn sounds ending the second period. Uh, after two periods of play, Walpole and uh, Milton deadlocked at one to one. Milton scored first. Jimmy Fallon scoring a minute and 26 seconds into the game uh, with uh, Owen Liddy and Ronan Robinson uh, assisting. Colin Birch scored unassisted at 12:21 of the first period. That's the way we stand right now, Mike. Yeah, we saw, you know, Walpole didn't come out great. Uh, they had some few chances there near the end, but that last chance, I don't know. I mean, right. how Jack Curran made that save. I mean, great play again by Jimmy Fallon, who certainly got some savvy to his game. Uh, you know, he's keeping him in this a little bit. I mean, right there, I think they got to try to find that rhythm that they had most of the first period, you know, get back to that. They just weren't generating as much chances right. as they were in that first period. So it uh, should be a great third. All right, well, they're going to make it a clean sheet of ice here. We'll take a break now, and we'll be back with second, uh, third period action shortly. Welcome back for third period action here from the Rodman Rink. We are deadlocked in this Bay State Conference Hurricane Division game between the Milton Wildcats and your Walpole Rebels. Face off, here comes Milton. They win the drug. Uh, Walsh gets it down, clear it up. Rebels bounce a self pass by Hunter. He clears it into the zone. Nice move. Declan giving up his body. Here's a steal. 
by McElhaney. A shot on the side of the net is blocked by Dexter. Comes out behind the net. It's picked up by Colin Hoey of the uh, Wildcats. He hits Carew. Carew dumps it in behind the net. Colin Birch is there, but it gets past him. A shot and a save off the post on a, by uh, John Walsh. Battling here. It's quite a huge crowd. This is probably the biggest crowd we've had this year in a uh, game, uh, basketball or hockey, I would think. It's uh, an ALS um, benefit night uh, as uh, the mother of Sophia Pacella, one of the girl captains of the hockey girls' hockey team, uh, was diagnosed earlier this year with uh, ALS and uh, the school was selling, uh, the I'm sorry, the, the team was selling red jerseys that say, for you I will fight, for you I will fight. And so there are lots and lots of red uh, shirts here tonight, not in honor of uh, Milton, but in honor of uh, Mrs. Pacella. And we all uh, send out our best regards to her. Okay, going in, McDonough. Battling along the boards, it comes up. Stopped at center ice. And it's skated in, uh, Verderber and uh, Frucci battling for it. Puck comes out to the neutral zone where uh, John Carey gets it. There's uh, McDonough, McDonough's shot. A save up high by Dexter. And this will be icing, we'll come back for a face-off to the right of uh, Ryan Dexter in the Milton net. Both goaltenders have been outstanding in this game, keeping it at one-to-one. -one. Uh, Ryan McGlynn taking the draw for the Rebs. He comes out to the point, blocked. Uh, Liam Fisher's shot was blocked. Comes out, it's thrown in behind the net by McGlynn, and starting out for Milton. Over there, picking it up is uh, Ronan Robinson. Comes to uh, Hoey, Hoey dumps it in, and it'll be tracked down by Liam Fisher. Fisher gets it up, not out but it's taken, uh, intercepted here. A shot up high, cleared up over into the netting. A wicked shot by Tyler McNeil as he stole that loose puck at center right uh, in the uh, offensive zone and was able to get off a clear shot, but uh, Curran was ready for it. Face off to Jack's left. There's a shot, glove down by Curran. And we'll have another face off. With the season winding down, we'd like to congratulate our seniors, uh, Tom Frucci, Charlie Wally, Ryan McGlynn, Mark Hershaw, Matt Darnley, Liam Fisher, and Sean Baker and Jacob Nelson for their four years of Rebel pride and work on the hockey team. As icing is called, the puck will come back down to the left of Curran. We've got 12 minutes and five seconds left in this regulation. The brigade in huge numbers here tonight for this game. Doherty is motioned into the uh, face-off circle. Puck is cleared out. Uh, okay, here comes uh, Carew. Carew is a shot that uh, Curran holds on to. 
for a faceoff. It'll come to his right. That was a long shot. Bucci taking the draw for Walpole. He wins it. Cleared up ahead to center right. It's uh, Ethan McDonough. McDonough can score. He circles him behind and he's dumped. He's smothered there. Comes out to the point. Hersham gets it in to McDonough and it comes out to center ice. Nice defensive play there by uh, Joe Vaderber. He clears it into the uh, Milton zone. Bucci backs in, Vaderber keeps it in, throws it in the corner. Comes out, but there's a Milton player there. It's uh, Donovan who gets a shot in on Curran. Curran with an easy save. Goes behind the net. And it comes out to center ice. Cleared back in. Joe Vaderber with it for Walpole. Clears it off the boards to uh, Joe Cox. Okay, kept in battling in there is uh, Ben Quinn. Uh, timeout for the the uh, Milton net being knocked off the posts. 10-19 left in regulation. We're tied at one here. Two first period goals by uh, Jimmy Fallon for Milton and Colin Birch for Walpole. That's been all the scoring we've had. We've also only had just one penalty in the game. It's a hard fought game, fast skating, good action, both ends of the ice. All right, uh, McGlynn throws it into the zone. Calling it around is Luke Calgano for Milton. Comes out. Liam uh, Fisher bounces a shot in on Dexter and he holds on to it for the faceoff. Neither goalie wanting to take any chance with any loose pucks lying around. Yeah, better start for Walpole in this period. They seem like they're buzzing a little bit more. Down period, second period, but they get off to a good start. Oh, Hunter with a shot that was saved up over the uh, over the net. Puck is in the webbing behind the net, so there'll be a face-off. Declan uh, right out in the slot there and fired a little high, going for a top corner, and uh, <laughs> Dexter was able to clear it over the crossbar. Face off to Dexter's left. Okay, thrown into the corner by Fruit uh, by uh, McElhaney. McElhaney battling there. It's kept in by Hershaw. A shot through a screen, and Dexter gloves it down and holds it down. 9.32 left in regulation. Good shot, get it through, get it on net, you know, hope for a rebound, a little, little high. Right. Goalie was able to kind of snuff it out, uh, but sometimes when those get a little lower, you're able to get uh, the rebounds out in front. All right, here we have the faceoff. It's won by Milton. John Carey clears it up along the boards. Fisher is able to dump it back in. Let's clear it in. Kershaw, Donnelly, Fisher, the three captains for Walpole. There's a big hit leveled on uh, Finn Doherty of Milton by uh, Jason Finkelstein. No, I'm sorry, that was by uh, Joe Cox. Up the boards.
Getting a little more physical out there. Fisher sandwiched down there. Is able to get it into the zone. Nice play. Good hustle by uh, Liam. Liam's able to keep it in. Oh, this comes out. Rucci clears it in. 8.22 and counting here. Shot wide of the net. Going down as Ben Quinn comes up to Hersham. Hersham throws a bouncer in on Dexter. Waiting at the doorstep, but no rebound. Dexter held on to it. Yeah, I like that play. I love those when you can get those in on net, you know. I think, you know, Coach, Coach Dowd's team does a great job of knowing when to get the puck deep, going after it, back checking. I mean, they just, they do the little things right, and that's why I think they're always competitive, even, you know, when they have years where they're more or less talented, but they always do the little things, and that's what pays off. Badurba's shot goes wide of the net. It's kept in there by Donnelly. Matt throws it behind the net. Battling out there. John Lee's in front. Okay. Right backhanded in by uh, Hersham. Walpole gets fresh legs on the ice. Over there. And a shot and a save by Curran. Face-off will be to the left of the Walpole goal. In front of, right in front of the brigade. Shot goes blocked behind the net. Battling in the corner up along the boards. Walpole able to bring it out. It's uh, Finkelstein. Shot just misses the inside post. It comes out to center ice, chasing it down as Fisher. And he, Colin Birch takes it. We've got a penalty. It looks like we're going to have a penalty on uh, Liam Fisher. Uh, interference. Just the second penalty of the game. And it comes at 8.03. Just the second penalty of the game. Both of them have been on Walpole. Milton with the opportunity here. Now watch out for Jimmy Fallon. He's been nifty all night. to the side of the net by Walsh. Walsh gets it up over to Hoey. Hoey back to Carey. Shot just missed the far post. Milton getting it up to the point. Walsh's shot is blocked down. Goes in behind the net. Walpole can't clear it. It's Walsh. Over to, through a screen, cleared out, and a score. <laughs> As Milton comes back here. Yeah, rebound, looks like it was Jimmy Fallon again. It is uh, Jimmy Fallon scoring his second of the game. At uh, 8.44. Walpole yeah, has uh, six minutes to go. Yeah, there's time. Got to turn but it up. They've got to score two. They can't afford to come out with just a tie here. They need a victory. That's a hook. Comes over to Finkelstein. Shot, glove save with uh, McElhaney on the doorstep. <clears throat> just got to keep doing that. Get the puck to the net. Keep going to the net. It's the only way. 
But tough break, you know, on the goal, rebound right in front. Didn't yeah. think he was going to be able to get the power to get it through, you know. Somehow Good. he snuck it through with a backhand, it seemed like. Thrown in behind the net. Shot. Ooh. Wow. Pounced up play. in the air behind uh, uh, Curran, and one of his defensemen was there to glove it out of the air and keep it out of the net. Back to the point. A shot goes wide of the net. Here's Fisher. His shot. Oh, rebound save by Dexter. <clears throat> Good chances. I mean, they're getting up there, but man, it seems like Tussling it is. Hustling in front of the net, 507. Tough for Walpole to get goals this year. Yeah. Milton on top, two to one on a pair of goals by Fallon, who is a junior freshman. What? Freshman. Wow, really? Yeah. You don't often see a freshman pumping the crowd think, after yeah. two goals. Well, this will be icing. Come well, back, uh, the good news is for Walpole, he'll probably yeah. go to prep school. <laughs> Face off to Dexter's left. In the feet, goes in behind the net. Cleared up and comes out. Walpole's got to clear the zone. And this will be icing. It will come back. 440 left in regulation. Milton on top, two to one. Shot right off the faceoff by uh, McDonough. And uh, Dexter was able to smother it. <clears throat> McDonough again. Shot and then, oh, oh, cleared into the corner. Walpole had a couple of people there. And we've yeah, got a delayed a call here on Milton. Milton gets their first penalty of the game. A slash. And it is on uh, Colin Hoey. Time of the penalty is 10 minutes, 34 seconds. We'll see if Walpole can do something with this man advantage. Oh, just what they needed. Kept him at the point. Over to uh, Hunter. Hunter looking. Wants somebody in front. Sends it in front. Comes up. They're able to keep it in. Oh, oh. comes outside the zone. Mark Hershon with it. Comes back to Fisher. Fisher circling around. Gets it off. Oh, there's a shot on net by uh, Carew of Milton. There's Hershon with the puck, circling down. Hershon in behind the goal, drops it back. Comes up, Mox got it on the right out front. Shot, oh, oh deflected and it just that was stopped before it could go in. Rebound into the midsection of Dexter. 
We've got 329 left in regulation, a minute and three seconds left on the power play for Walpole. Good shot, I and mean, the second one, they shot him right into him, but yeah. man. This is when they've got to score, when they're up a man, they've got sure to do, do it here. They sure do. Great play. Thrown in the corner, chased down by Hersham. He's got uh, Hunter there. Joe Vaderb is able to keep it in at the left point. Circling around. Shot, uh, a midsection save again. As Dexter's able to uh, keep everything out of the net from up high. Face off to Dexter's left. His right, I'm sorry. Comes up for Derber. Cross ice. Pass back. Oh, a one timer by Hunter. Goes wide. Cleared down. Chasing it down as Fisher for Walpole. Circling back up the ice. A shot goes blocked before it can get to the goalie. Comes out. Walpole's able to keep it in. Backhanded in. Kershaw. Hunter's shot is blocked. Declan's had opportunities. He's got it again. He drops it to Fisher. Fisher threw a screen at the side of the net. Save. Power play is over. And. Uh, Dexter's able to come on strong again for them. Well, they got their chances Fallon on that power play. And uh, his counterpart, Mark Hersham, the double 13s, having a little discussion as they head towards their respective benches. Pulls able to control. Fisher dumps it into the corner. Comes up Fisher. Oh, cleared down by uh, Milton. Chasing it down as Birch for Walpole. He gets along the side to uh, McDonough. McDonough's got somebody with him. He goes in, McDonough's got it. Shut off the back of the net. Comes in front, nobody there for Walpole. Fisher with it. Got to wait till his teammates stop. Kept in, thrown into the corner. There's Liam Fisher with it. Uh, going up along the boards. And it's cleared down the length of the ice. It will not quite make it there for icing. Walpole will skate back out. Another penalty, a trip on Jack Boylan, one of their captains. Well, that makes things interesting. They're going to pull the goalie, get a two-man advantage here. 112 left. So for the remainder of regulation, Walpole will have the power play. 13.48, the time of the penalty. They've got to use it now. And a timeout called by Walpole. They've got a minute 12. They've got a face off to the right of Dexter. So now's the time they've got to do this here. Now you wonder if they're going to pull the goalie and try for a little six on four. You know, two man advantage. You we'll see. Yeah. Got some options. But, you know, hey, they got chances on the power play. They just, right. you know, a couple of those shots went right into the gut yeah. of the goalie. And you now you got to look for the open net. Look for the net, not the goalie. Yeah. But, you know, it's tough. They've had plenty of chances in this game. It's just, you know, a matter of finishing. Uh, kind of like what we saw last weekend against Bridgewater. So a lot 
loss tonight will drop Walpole to six, eight, and five. It'll be four losses in a row, and uh, they need to get points. They, uh, this would cut it down to five points in three games if they lose this one, which would basically be, for all intents and purposes, they got to win all three of their final games. All right, Walpole coming away. They've got the power play. Oh, and they've pulled the goalie. So they'll be six on four now. Walpole pulling out all the stops here. Six on four, they've pulled the goalie. They've got a power play. Kept in by Verderber. Oh. Empty netter. A score. Uh, they were able to clear that puck the length of the ice into the open net. So the strategy backfired. A shot handed goal for Milton. I think it was scored by uh, Finn Doherty, but uh, we'll wait for a, an announcement. Time of the goal, 13.59. Uh, shot up high off the book glass. Verderber keeps it in at the point. A shot. Uh, Finn Doherty did get that goal. Uh, 48 seconds left in this one. Walpole still with an empty net. A shot at the side. Saved and held on to by Dexter. 44 seconds left in this game. Face off to Dexter's right. Goes behind the net, cleared up off the glass. McElhaney. Oppo keeping it in. McDonough with it, shot into the midsection of Dexter, and he holds on. 19 seconds left. Off one by Milton, cleared around the boards, kept in by Fisher. His shot goes wide. Uh, McElhaney's shot again, a save by Dexter. As Dexter has been up to the uh, to count the whole time. Rucci behind the net, comes over to Fisher, he throws it in front, it goes through the crease, and the final buzzer sounds. So, a heartbreaking loss for Walpole, fourth straight loss of this, this uh, streak here now. Uh, Colin Birch with the only goal for Walpole, uh, 12 and a half minutes into the first period. Jimmy Fallon, a freshman, had two goals for uh, Milton and uh, Finn Doherty, one of their co-captains, had the final one in the third period. Uh, Walpole had their chances. They just couldn't finish, and, you know, the empty netter at the end sealed it. So, you know, it's unfortunate. Just having trouble scoring at the wrong time of year. Right. Well, we'll be back. we got three more games to go, but Walpole definitely has their backs to the wall. We would like to thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School boys varsity hockey action. Once again, the final score, the Milton Wildcats three, Walpole Rebels one.